All right, let's go ahead and start a new series today. Go ahead and go through all the alpha versions of Minecraft, starting with this very basic alpha 1.2.0 release. And uh, we're gonna go up from here. So, uh, if anything I do today seems a little odd, um, please go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. But odds are, um, if it's a little weird, Compared to how I would normally play the game, or how somebody would normally play the game, odds are it's the it's because of a feature that doesn't exist yet. Uh, so some of the things that um, we really take for granted um, just simply aren't in the game, and it's quite annoying. But as annoying it is, is as it is, you know, I just kind of gotta deal with it and roll the punches. I'll wind up making a couple mistakes here and there uh, during these these this series, but you know. Again, it is what it is, and uh, I'm just going to figure it out as I go. Uh, one of the quite obvious things that you probably notice right away is as I'm breaking these logs. You gather up some wood. The, tr uh, the tree leaves don't decay on their own, which is particularly annoying. Another feature that hasn't been added yet that you might not even notice is the fact that full screen doesn't exist yet. So I'm literally stuck playing this in a, a, a small window on my computer screen. I can't even go full screen while I, while I record this for y'all. Quite annoying, but we'll do what we gotta do. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and change my controller settings. Um, because in, in the older versions of Minecraft, the uh, inventory button, the keyboard button to open up your inventory was set to I instead of E as it is in the, um, the more modern version. So I had to change that because I wasn't used to it. A lot of things I'm not used to. But, you know, we gotta, we gotta get everything set up. It's an interesting world to start in. A lot of things are weird, you know, I just, it brings back memories, but it takes a lot of adjusting. It's like the fact that you saw there, the mobs, really mobs just jump around and punching sheep is what gets you wool. They don't give you any food or nothing. There's no hunger bars as you can see as well. Really, really strange. And something I had to get used to, uh, used to working with it again. Now this is a uh, big version of Minecraft that introduced the nether. The nether was introduced with this update that I'm playing here. I actually wanted to start with the version before this one to start the series because that's the version of Minecraft that I actually first ever played when I first started playing Minecraft but unfortunately uh, for, for whatever reason the sound just doesn't work um, I couldn't get any sound play back and apparently this is a, a big problem on all platforms uh, when you try to fire up an old alpha version before this one the sound just out right doesn't work it was, it was too weird playing that way, so I, I had to just, I had to just, um, just go one, one, one version further to keep everything, uh, just so it seems right and I can enjoy it as I play and get the recording footage going. Now, as I did mention before, uh, the leaves don't decay, so I do have to punch them all out. Although, uh, if I remember correctly, once I do update to a newer version where they do decay on their own, they'll start to disappear anyway. Uh, if not, I'll just hit them with shears when it comes time, and those are added into the game, and I'll do that. Um, I was also breaking the leaves looking for apples, but, um... It took me a second to realize it, but I realized it, eh, give or take, midway through breaking those leaves that... You can't get apples as drops yet in this game, so I can't craft golden apples. The only way to find apples is to find them in a dungeon chest. You can either get regular apples or you can just find, you know, your your regular golden apples uh, in dungeon chests. That's the only way to do so. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step. I just have to be very careful. I'm gonna go ahead and get my stone for my stone tools and then start working on my shelter. Now, back in these older versions of Minecraft, your options when you first started a world was to 
gather resources. It wasn't even an option, really. You just gather resources and you build a base as fast as you can. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Because as soon as nighttime falls, all the angry mobs are out. Creepers will blow up right on you and everything. And you can't sleep away the night. Beds do not exist yet. Uh, I think I'll actually uh, try crafting a bed later on just to show you. That's why I have the wall. Um, but it doesn't work. So I have to literally sit out the night. Now, your options were earlier, you know, earlier on that if you didn't have a base fully built by your first night, you had to just take some dirt and hold yourself up or dig into a, a, a um, the side of a mountain real fast and just hold yourself up until you can, uh, until nighttime passes. Because otherwise you're just dead meat, you're gonna die. End the story. So I got myself some wood and I'm gonna go finish building up some of this base here. I do have to be extremely careful because the, the new day is not going to last too long. We're about halfway through uh, the day cycle. And I, honestly, I don't remember, uh, at least offhand, how long a Minecraft day lasts in real time and how long the nighttime lasts uh, in real time. So um, if anybody knows offhand, please let me know down in the comment section. That would be uh, super, super helpful to know offhand um, in the future because what I did is you know I obviously gonna cut it out when it comes time but I sat AFK and just came back and just hope you know I, I got it at a decent time you can also see there that the normal reaching distance in Minecraft is uh, four blocks away I believe but it was actually smaller in these versions I couldn't reach far enough to um, to build it. I had to go uh, down another block, which was annoying. Plus, I got all these trees in the way, so I gotta move them. I might, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get ahead and kill this cow to get him out of the way. They don't drop anything yet either, uh, which is quite annoying. I could have sworn you could get beef, but I tried killing a couple, which I'm not, I didn't show, and they don't drop anything. So it's all pork chops, pork chops from here. Now again, looking at it, you can see pork chops don't even stack. Food doesn't even stack. My option is to just kill them and you know let it sit in my inventory. Start a little mine real fast, but I ain't gonna get far considering I, I don't have any torches. So I'm probably gonna have to find um, some surface coal just to get that going. Because I can't go too far down, mobs are gonna spawn and kill me before I can even, even get to iron, to iron or diamond level. It gets uh, rather annoying pretty quick how different these older games are, or these older versions, I should say. Kind of have to you know deal with it as I go. I got myself a furnace now. Slap that down, and I don't even think I can make charcoal yet either. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try, but I doubt. Yeah, you, you can't even, you can't even make charcoal. So my only option is to go find uh, some surface. Well, I thought maybe you couldn't burn saplings either yet, but that's not the case. So I have no choice but to go find surface coal. Now, I take a quick look around, and I don't find much, unfortunately. Um. Which is annoying because nighttime falls just before I can. I think I find the one piece of iron here. Yeah, the two, uh, two or three iron ores. But then after that, it's instantly nighttime before I know it. Yep. So I gotta go break that tree and get out of the way, and I'm gonna at least cook up some food uh, while I have the opportunity. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm more concerned with uh, doing the base. I recorded this uh, footage a couple days ago and I'm just going over the voiceover now. Things have been hectic at work. Just started another job. And yeah, see there's me trying to craft the bed just to show everybody. You can't shift click either, which is very frustrating. You can't shift click and you can't sh uh, click and drag either. So 
Let me go ahead and make a sword just in case for after the daytime I can kill all the mobs in case anybody decides to gang up on me. Other than that, I'm just gonna hold myself up in a dirt hut like I was talking about earlier. I just have to go from there. It is what it is. Wait until daytime. And so the stars go away. That was the final piece. And I should cut right to morning. I ain't gonna sit through that and make the episode too long. Any day now. Yeah, there we go. You can hear the spiders. Which means it must be morning. Or very close to it after that that close by. One of the few mobs that doesn't immediately burn up in sunlight. Although, um, they might still do that in this version. It is definitely morning now, so... I'll probably wind up coming back to cook those pork chops later. The nice thing about uh, the food, though, is, is it... Oh, Creeper, let's get out of here. And another one. Get moving before they start to blow up on me. I'm probably going to wind up hiding in that uh, makeshift little mine I started. Although, I will probably never wind up never going back there again. I, I can't light it up. Just let these guys burn up before I run away. Or run back out to explore. Yeah, so uh, eating food instantly regenerates health. There's no eating animation either, which is nice. Alright, so I finally found some uh, surface coal, which I'm gonna very quickly dig up so I can craft some torches. I think now is when I slap, um, went into a furnace just after this. Let's cook up some of the food I had. The benefit of cooking food in the older games is that it just simply restores more health. That's all there is to it. There's, as you can see, there's obviously no hunger yet. It doesn't exist, so I don't have to worry about going hungry as well. Smelt the few little pieces of uh, iron I have to make an iron pickaxe. And there come the torches. And then I'm gonna start cooking the food. So, you know, it is frustratingly simple is I guess the best way to describe these early versions of the game. Uh, there's only so much you can do. Surprisingly, redstone does exist in these early versions. Um, although, from what I remember, it may not have a, an actual function, or it's just extremely broken. I, this is, which, which is why I've never experimented with redstone. I just don't. It's not my jam for this reason, because it wasn't polished enough to really be usable, I don't think, in these early versions, so I never bothered burning it. And this is the temporary base I have going for myself as well. It's only temporary because, again, I can't make a bed. So if I die, I respawn at spawn. I have to refine my base and everything else. So I'm not going to make anything grandiose or, or fantastic or and no big builds yet. Uh, for that, I'm going to wait until I can craft beds. The beds are added in. And I do that. Alright, so it's the second night now. And some doors just to make it look nice. I lit up the place. I made some chests. Start a little bit of organization. Because again, who does it stack and then I'll be a problem. So, you know, I was going to go back out, rush out there, and continue the mine I started. But I, I, I decided it would be best to just start a mine up in this base. Just right along the side on the inside. Again, like I was, I was going on about, it doesn't matter. This is just a, it's a simple early base. Nothing too fancy. Uh, it's not going to be permanent. I'll find a, a nice, better location once they add beds back in. I'll go from there. Now, I was uh, mentioning earlier that the first, this is the first version of Minecraft that introduced the Nether. While the Nether does exist, I am not going anywhere near it. A lot of y'all uh, newer-ish players tend to think that the nether is scary. Um, no, the, the nether in modern versions is not scary. The nether in these versions is absolutely terrifying. There are no enchantments. There's no fire resistance. There's no potions. You fall in the lava, you're burning to a crisp. You're done. Game over. Toast. That's it. Doesn't matter how much food you have on you. So again, it doesn't stack. You're screwed. Not only that, in order to, 
to get the obsidian to even make another portal, you have to have diamonds. Wars are a lot more rare in this game. I got some zombies up in this little cave I found and killed them. And you'll notice how fast they hurt you and hit you. They don't have attack animation. They just jump around and if they get too close to you, it does damage. Very, very fast. You saw I ate a cooked pork chop there, instantly restored health. That's the nice trade off to that. There's no eating animation. So it just instantly heals and you can spam click it if you have enough in the hot part. Also, again, there's no zombie flesh. There's no hunger, there's no food, there's no need for it. So the zombies drop feathers. Notch wanted something for them to drop, and uh, that's just what they went with, you know? That well, is what it is. I'm gonna head and keep on digging down. I got all the way down to diamond level now. Yep, there's a little lava lake next to me as I start my strip mine. Again, like I was saying, you know, ores are really, really rare in this game. I, uh, in these early versions, I should say. I went a full two hours. Two hours of gameplay. And I... In the, that second half, that full hour, I spent strip mining, and I didn't find a single diamond. I went ahead and got some armor. I think I finished off with maybe just an iron chest plate. I might have made boots, too. I'm not 100% sure, but I made some armor, and it's just so I have something. Now, like I was saying, I didn't find a single diamond, but I broke a ton of iron pickaxes. So I didn't have much left over afterwards. So odds are what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm just going to seal off this little lava lake here. Light up the cave around. And I do continue to strip mine for quite a while. But I come up empty handed. So. On that note. What I'm going to probably do is I'll. You know. You'll get a little bit more mining footage. And then I'll, I'll finish laying out. The mine entrance. So I'll do some stairs and I'll, I'll make the headroom for it and whatnot. I take care of all that. I'm planning on um, making this like a, a secret fighter series type thing because the premise of the, the update for this Minecraft release and all the ones that he they used to do was he not just called them secret Friday updates. So he released the updates on Fridays and didn't tell us the changes at the time at least. Didn't tell us what they had added or what he went with me to figure it out. Now, I'm kinda doing these episodes in the spirit of that. Um by simply increasing if every Friday doing a, a video for this series and increasing the Minecraft release version for each episode up until I get to modern day. It'll create some a really interesting world that will have uh, plenty of age, aesthetic, and very unique um, characteristics, I should say. Which is nice. If anybody has any recommendations on um, some future builds to add, in this to this, add into this world, or if you have any questions about the older versions of Minecraft, uh, like how to go about getting them or downloading them, um, any of the weird quirks, kind of like skeletons when they shoot with their bows, they have no cooldown time. Uh, so you can, even when the player does it, you can uh, have a couple stacks of arrows and a bow in your hand and you just hold down the trigger and it just shoots non-stop. Very, very annoying. Especially in multiplayer. But um, yeah, if anybody has any questions about the older versus Minecraft, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. I gotta get that reminder in there. I'm working on building my channel back up. I had you know, you know to take a break uh, due to problems uh, with life and everything that's going on. But uh, you know, I'm happy to be back. I'm planning on uploading uh, some other content during the week and having like an upload schedule of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Obviously, you know what the Friday stuff is. I might not get uh, the Monday, Wednesday episodes for you know, just after this one when this comes out. I might not get them ready in time. If that's the case, they'll start a week late. No big deal. Um, but it's a lot of fun. So I think this is at the point where 
I start crafting the staircases. And I'm heading up to do that now. I start slapping them down and I start finishing up. So again, if anybody has any recommendations, I probably will um, release the seed for this world once we get up to modern versions in case y'all are curious. At this point in time, even in this specific version, there's no way for me to look that up. I'd have to throw it in our world editor. And the tools to do that are so old. Just downloading them and trying to get them up and running on my computer would be a very frustrating experience. Uh, so I'm not going to bother with that. Again, I can't wait until I get into newer versions where I have uh, options such as shears. I can actually break leaves and sheep and whatnot, the different kinds of foods. Once we get into the point where I can start enchanting things and making animals, when I'll feel a lot more comfortable um, because I'll have better armor and whatnot. We'll do all kinds of stuff, but it's boring. Uh, but for now, I gotta get those diamonds. I'll probably wind up getting uh, at least some diamonds in the, the next episode. I doubt I'll be able to make any uh, diamond armor, but I'll at least at least get a diamond pickaxe going. Uh, I should have definitely full iron armor by then, but no, iron, iron armor isn't too good, and I gotta be very, very careful about how I handle things, so. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, thanks for sticking by me, everybody. You know, like I was saying, I had to step away due to life for a bit, but I'm, I'm glad to be back. Live streams won't, um, be back right away naturally like i was saying my brother is still doing his classes from home he's almost graduating soon it'll be another couple weeks i don't have the exact date which is why i said it would happen out for easter but i did not specify when so once those are back it's going to be according to my work schedule which changes every week um so i probably won't even be able to announce my live streams ahead of time so please, since that's the case, make sure you you subscribe and you ring the bell for notifications. This way when I do go live, you can catch me. I might be able to tell y'all maybe 10 or 20 minutes beforehand, but I won't be able to give much more warning than that. Uh, summer, summer will be here soon. I know um, everybody's been home because of what uh, what's going on in the world, I should say. I'm still fearful to say it. But uh, that looks like it, everybody. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye now.